Let us now take a look at an individual coral polyp. Coral reefs, as I said in the last lesson, are built up and made up of thousands of tiny coral polyps. These polyps are related to the sea anemones and also the jellyfish. The polyps can live individually or they can live in large colonies that make up the entire reef structure. The polyp has a sac-like body and an opening or a mouth. Surrounding the mouth are tentacles which have on it stinging cells called nematocysts. The bodies of corals are clear and the color that you see in the corals usually occur because of the zooxanthellae that lives inside of their tissues. But how do the corals feed? The corals have several different strategies for obtaining food. One of those strategies is to prey on tiny organisms that swim along in the water column. These organisms can be zooplankton and other small organisms that pass over the coral colony. If they venture too close to the tentacles, they will be paralyzed by the stinging cells, captured by the tentacles, and moved towards the mouth of the coral polyp. Some coral polyps have short tentacles that produce a mucus, and it is covered with cilia, which is like tiny hairs. During feeding, these cilia beat toward the mouth and create a water current that traps these small organisms within the mucus and draws it into the mouth of the polyp. However, the greatest amount of nutrients that the coral receives is from the zooxanthellae. In fact, the zooxanthellae provides up to 90% of the nutritional needs of the coral. The zooxanthellae provides glucose, glycerol, and amino acids.